Welcome everybody back to my channel. I'm going to give you guys my Cabo St. Lucas Villa tour. The blog will be out soon, but I just had to show you guys this villa because it was amazing. All the information will be down below, but the villa starts off with this beautiful courtyard that has a water feature. That was really nice to listen to every morning. And then it has a secure door right here. The good thing about these villas are they're on a private resort so you'll never be bothered but as soon as you walk in you have the seating area and the first thing you see is this amazing view of the beach and you see the resorts and then in the hills you see the other villas that they have so there's plenty i don't see this place ever being sold out because there's so many villas so many options so off from the seating area you have the dining area here and these were shot on two days they brought the barbecue inside because it was a storm that day but the dining room opens up to the kitchen the kitchen is packed with all of your plates silverware everything that you'll need and then it curves off into this first bedroom now sorry that the footage is a little shaky uh but these rooms are to die for. So this was my room that I shared with Misha. We didn't have to share because there's plenty of room, but we just wanted to stay upstairs. And that's what I like about this villa. There's so many options. And not only did this villa have huge rooms, it has huge bathrooms. So this was a two sink bathroom with a water closet. So you can use the restroom in private while somebody else is, you know, brushing their teeth or doing whatever they have to do. It was a full shower, a full bath and a huge walk-in closet. Again, I shared this room with somebody uh, that weekend and it, it, we had plenty of space. I absolutely loved it. Another fun thing that I love about these villas, they come with robes. There's nothing like having a nice hotel robe, so they come with robes, which I really liked. Now, right off of this room, there was a hot tub right out there on the terrace, which overlooks the pool. So the pool is on the bottom floor, which I will show you guys in just a second. But all the rooms have TVs and they were just fully equipped. So as you walk down this hall off of the living room, there is a half bath right here. And I didn't even really realize that this was here until it was time to go. I actually shot this on the very last day. So I had no idea that there, this bathroom even existed. That's how many bathrooms this place had. It just, we never ran out of bathrooms. So as you leave that bathroom by coming down the hall, then you will go down a flight of stairs. I love the stairs. They are coated in like this stone, really pretty Spanish feel. Of course, we're in Mexico. So, you know, everything is Spanished out, which I really, really, really like. So on the bottom floor, if you come around the corner, there is a laundry room. Now, I didn't use the laundry room, but the girls did. They washed their clothes before they left Cabo. So that's an option, especially if you're traveling with a big family. It's great that they have a washer and dryer if you choose to use it. Now, going down this hall is one of the other bedrooms, which has one full bed. Um, I believe this is a king as well and it also has a full bathroom and access to the pool which i'll show you guys in a second so pretty so after you go through the room you come and see this amazing view this is where the birthday girl slept and you have access straight to the pool from the bedroom and you can see the view of the ocean. It was just a breathtaking view to see every single morning. I'm gonna miss that place. So after you leave that room, there is another seating area on the main, or excuse me, on the bottom floor, which they, we also used, sat down, we talked here. Uh, Shark Coley watched her shows in this area, so it definitely was used. And this was the last day as well with storming, so they brought all the cushions in. 
as you go onto the patio or excuse me the back area there is an infinity pool with a little grass area in the back which is really really cool and you can see all the way up all the villas and then when you come down, one of the things that I really, really liked about this villa is there's an outdoor bathroom. There's nothing worse than being in the pool, having to use a restroom and having to come all the way inside the house. Super cold, they had one right outside and they also had access to the second floor, the first floor from downstairs using these stairs here. One thing I also liked about this villa is all of the rooms accessed the outside. So you were never trapped. You can always go outside anytime you wanted to. Now going down here is the final bedroom that had two beds. Only one person slept in this room, which is funny enough, but there are two beds. There were plenty, it was plenty of space for everybody. We had five of us. They say the suite sleeps six, but I feel like you can sleep way more than that. Now I also had a water closet, a full bath, a sink, and a little walk-in closet area with more robes. Now I hope you guys enjoyed this tour. If you guys want to book this villa, go ahead and click the link in the description. It will give you guys a link to Johnny Lumpkin. He was our travel agent for this trip, so you guys can book through him. And if you've never been to Cabo, I highly suggest it. This was my second time. I had an amazing trip. And don't forget, the vlog is coming soon. I just had to give you guys this own villa tour. Like, I just had to show y'all. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Have a great one. Peace.